Oh, hi! I'm fortunate enough to tell you that today's video has a sponsor, and that sponsor is Mack Weldon. Mack Weldon is an underpants company that just so happens to make the greatest underpants in the world. Normally, I would hesitate and saying something like this. And as a matter of fact, they sent me a couple pairs and they're like, hold up a couple pairs, but I can only hold up one pair because I am wearing a pair on my privates. I don't know what material this is and there are several tags all over the place and I'm sure I could look, but I've never felt a material like this. And if the tag doesn't say magic, I'm gonna be let down. They call this antimicrobial fabric, which eliminates odor. And it's true, I straight up pooped in mine and like nothing. These people over here at Mr. Mac Weldon's house, they just want you to be comfortable. So they have this thing where if you don't like the first pair they send you, you could just keep them and keep them on your privates forever and they'll give you a full refund. So go to MacWeldon.com, tell them I sent you, all this stuff will be in the description below. Uh, use the promo code FALZONE for 20% off and enjoy what you're about to see. Um, because this was a really fun video for me only. Enjoy. I'm not gonna lie, this is frustrating me so much. You know the bit that you are going for and it's so frustrating to hear somebody describe a person, a loose plot, and some random aspect of the movie and then even if I know it or don't know it, it like it is it is truly making me upset. <laughs> Start going. It's been a while since these walkie-talkie jobs. Will you shoot a video with me? Mm -hmm. We'll do it in your car. Parking ticket. Trash. You can't throw away parking tickets. When was the last time you went to the movies? What did you say? I saw a screening of Deadpool. Oh, how was that? I loved it. Is that the one with the? It's like a super. Superman? He's a Marvel Superman? Because he looks just like Spider-Man, but he's not. Does he climb? Mm. Is he a climber? Uh, he is, uh, he's not like Spider-Man at all. Mm. What was that? Do you ever see that movie? That's, it's a superhero movie, but the guy, he thinks he's a bird, and he used to be Beetlejuice, but now he's an author? Birdman. Birdman. He was also in that movie where there was a bunch of hymns. There was like a dumb him and a sexy him. There were a bunch, and they all worked together on buildings, and there was an ex ex inspector? Expector. There was an inspector that came around and said, this building's not gonna go. He was in another movie where he made cars with a bunch of men, and with Andy, Mc Andy McDowell, I think. That I, I don't know. Are you talking about multiplicity? Still? The first one was yes. He was in with cars with Japanese men and they were all making them. But he would go to Japan and he would say, this company can make the cars. We could show you. We're just as good as the Japan in America. I have no idea what movie you're And he rallied the troops. You look like a Yeezy, like one Yeezy. Did anyone tell you that today? About four times, I think that's the fourth time somebody said that joke. It's a clever joke, it makes sense. It even looks like I have like little shoelaces. I hang out with you instead of going to open mic. You ever see that movie about comedians, but it's mostly about one comedian. He was dating his teacher, but then he, he was Hook. These are the different roles that he played. Are you talking about Robin Williams? No. He played Hook in Hook. Oh, Dustin Hoffman. Yes. But he was a comedian at one point in an old movie about a comedian from oh, the old days. I don't remember. You gotta see more movies, man. I what was the one movie? It was black and white, but it was a boxing. There was an Italian man in it, and not the one where the Italian fights the African man, but the one where the Italian fights probably another Italian man, and they're both, at the end of it, like, bam, bam, bam! And one was very Italian and sweaty, and is also in Meet the Parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about the one that came out like really recently? No! Between him and Al Pacino? Or Al Pacino and Al Pacino where they're like fighting and they're old? Did they make another movie where they're fighting I and they're old? I think recently, yeah. They, they were like old and fighting and I, it must have been because of whatever movie you're referencing. What movie is that? He's in that Hollywood building and he's crawling on his... He's doing the army crawl. Like you tried to get Gilligan to do that time. It speeds up so fast. Oh, it's like that movie where they had to go back to 1986 and uh, Michael J. Fox was in back it and so future. was Uncle Fester from the one movie about the family that they were, I don't know, dead? And there was just the hand. How do you survive with just the hand? Maybe his heart's in his wrist. He was his heart on his wrist. 
in that one movie. Family values matter. Family matters. <sighs> Shit. That's it. Do you remember that movie where it was like, now I guess they would all be old ladies, but they had their own baseball time. And all of the guys were at war and they were playing baseball for the country in their own league. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> a middle class white guy with a, in a suburban with a My Chemical Romance bumper sticker. Where That's where we're going, sweater. man. That's where we're headed, I think. I'm surprised it's not a Crazy Town sticker decal. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Hey, you're buying me alcohol right now. <laughs>